Hey guys, my name is Jennifer and I am Genevieve Designs. Okay, so two things. I have actually run into a bit of a snafu. <laughs> and I um, am not gonna be able to record a lot in the foreseeable future, like, like in the next, you know, week. So I need to finish this album up for you guys. So hopefully I can prep enough ahead of time so that I can film all of these little bits and pieces for you guys, but you can still understand what I have been doing or am doing. And secondly, I think I've lost some footage. I think. I cannot find it, but I thought I recorded it, but it's possible that I didn't. I'm not sure. I don't know what's going on, really, to be honest. I haven't been able to film in a couple days, and I don't, I just, I don't know what I've done with the footage. So, okay. So my plan is I am going to, I've prepped a whole bunch of stuff and I am going to hopefully put it all together with you, put it all in the album with you. Um, but there is one section that I can't seem to find the footage. I thought I recorded it, but I, did, I don't know. I can't find it. Okay. So. And that would be the last video we did this flip down shaker, but I thought I recorded the inserts and I can't find them anywhere. I can't find that footage anywhere. So let me start at the beginning now that I've rambled on for 10 minutes. This is the Hello Pink Autumn. This is the paper collection we're using. This is the album that we're making. I'm using the Basically Amazing Foundations and the Basically Amazing Graceful Decorative Edge. There's the Decorative Edge add-on. There is the Basically Amazing Foundations. They are printable templates available in my Etsy shop. And um, I have a whole video playlist for this album beginning to end. I will link it up here and down below. So I guess really quickly, I will try to explain what I've done here, the inserts that are in here. So this is one of the photo mat essentials. I just printed this onto cardstock and I actually don't know where the other one is. I've got so much prepped over here. I'm sure it's over here in this pile, but I printed one page of this sheet, which is again, the essentials. And I printed it onto cardstock. Like, I am so sorry, you guys. I am so very, very sorry. <laughs> this is so discombobulated right now. Um, and then I printed one of the shades of color. This is the green one. This is number one. And the shades of color, too. This is also a printable available in my Etsy shop. So um, this green color, so it's shade number one. I printed a piece of, or uh, I printed a page of that onto white cardstock. I cut it down to four by six and ch chomped the corners with my corner chomper. And then I did the uh, glue stick foiling, the quick distress glue stick foiling technique along the edge. You guys have seen me do that a bazillion times. So that's just a quick little photo mat insert. And then these other two inserts are from uh, did I? I might have marked it. Okay, I did. Yay! Okay, so let me show you what I printed. <laughs> so, this piece right here is page 39B, and it's in the Graceful Decorative Edge. I printed it with the pumpkin background on one side, and then I matted it with the patterned paper. So I used some of my scraps, so that was the one of the pink papers from the paper collection. And then this one might have been, I don't remember what's on the other side of that. But um, again, this was in my scraps. So I just traced the mat onto the patterned paper, and then I did a little uh, embellishment cluster. This is from my stamp set, and then this was a fussy cut piece. I'm pretty sure, let me make sure. Yeah, this was fussy cut from that full sheet, and I just think it's really cute. It just looks really cute. And then this is one of the chipboard embellishments, and there's some of the little bling right there. Some of the shaker bling that looks kind of like, what do we call those? It looks kind of like water drops on there as an embellishment. I did put a little bit, uh, I did put a magnet in here. Also, I just stuck this down. This one was from the embellishment pack. I just stuck it down on the front here because 
um, I wanted it to be a little bit more plain. But this piece right here, this page, is this one over here. So 40 BD out of the Graceful Decorative Edge, and then here's the other insert. So actually it was like this. So I printed this page, again, with the pumpkin background design onto white cardstock, and um, I matted the back side of it with some of the pattern paper. And then that's it. You could put photo mats here. I decided not to do anything. I'm sure if I have any extra photo mats left over, I will come back and add them here. But for now, I'm just gonna leave them just like this. And so that's one of the inserts. And then this piece here, I just made it into a tag. I matted it on one side with, pat with um, coffee stained paper and did um, a little tag, put a little hole re reinforcement and a pull. So that's the three inserts for this front pocket. So let's go ahead and stick those back in here. Okay. Did I do anything? I did. I remember I did see the footage where I filmed that. So that's that's in. I don't think I did anything else um, that I can't find the footage. I don't think I've. I, I don't think there's anything else. Okay. Okay. I was going through all of the different pieces I had left over from other pages that we've printed, and I'm using some of them. Let me see. I could have at least put my little. I've got. Let me show you everything I've got printed so that you can kind of get an idea of what I've been doing off camera. Um, I've got all this prepped, all of this. Look at all this, <laughs> okay. I just am not gonna have time to officially film each and every little thing. And so I thought I would just prep everything and talk you through it and we'll put it together, together. So one of the things that's left over, at least I'm pretty sure this one was left over Yes, this was uh, part of 10D, the main base page 10D, which was this piece right here, this page. This was the other part of that. So we're gonna use, that. we took one long tab off and we're gonna use this as a pocket. So I need to, and this is out of the foundations, but this is one of the pieces we have left over. Let me scoot that out of the way. I need to put some tape on it. I'm gonna put 3 8 inch tape from this one is uh, cherry on top. I have these linked in the description box below. I feel like I'm reaching oh, pretty far away. Oh, y'all can see, okay. Um, but yeah, everything is fine. I don't want anybody to get worried or anything. Everything is fine. I'm just not gonna have any time, any personal time, any private, you know, quiet time to film. So I'm trying to get this done for you guys because I didn't want to leave you guys with nothing for the next uh, couple weeks because then the next thing we'll be starting will be the Christmas album. But anyway, okay, so then I'm going to notch these corners. I think I'm going to go straight across no, I'm not. I'm going to do it like this. I'm going to um, have the long tab here. I'm going to have it attach to the two side tabs. Okay. And I don't know if I told you already, but I'd already inked everything up and scored everything off camera. I do apologize for this, you guys. I hope it's okay. I just figured this was better than nothing, like finishing the project and then just doing a flip through. I, uh, that could, I could have done that too. You guys let me know what you think. <laughs> Which would you prefer? <laughs> okay. So that's gonna be the pocket. And then those are some photo mats. And then I made another one of the freebie envelopes that we made before. I'll have it linked below. It's in Buy Me A Coffee. I did change the formats for the Buy Me A Coffee because people were having trouble printing. And unless you did it a specific way, it wouldn't print properly. So I changed it to a PDF format. So you all you have to do is download the PDF and it'll print. It should print just fine. 
Um, but it's free. Buy me a coffee's free. You don't have to put any payment information in there or anything like that. Just your name and your email. And that's it. Okay, so I printed another one of these off exact same way we did the other one. And I did the wax seal there. And then I traced the um, mat for that, for this page. I traced it on pattern paper, so it was the dark one, the plaid. So it was probably a leftover piece from the uh, insert that I did. So that is going to be the mat, and we can, let's glue it down. I'm gonna use my Fabri-Tac for now. I probably should add the page, or the pocket to the page, shouldn't I? Okay. Let me show you where it's going to go. See, it's I even planned most of this a week ago, so I don't even I have to I'm I'm playing it by ear here with you guys. <laughs> I took pictures, thank goodness, or I wouldn't remember what I'm doing. So I'm going to remove the tape backing. So this is where this pocket's going to go, right next to this um, little flip pocket here which I love, by the way. I did try to fix that. I don't know if I told you guys that already, and it didn't, it doesn't look good, but that's okay. I'm not gonna worry about it. Okay, so I'm gonna stick this. Actually, let me make sure I didn't make that edge. I'm gonna stick this here. I'm not gonna go too close to the, to the um, binding. Finish that. Okay. All right, and so then, uh, this is one of the fussy cut pieces that I did from one of the papers, and I thought I would just do a little embellishing here. No big deal, it doesn't have to have anything, but I thought it might be kind of, you know, kind of sweet to just have something there. So, I might even just go up a little bit. I'm just gonna glue it mostly in the middle there might be some hanging out on either side. So let's just put it right there. And then I have these two pieces here. I was going to mat this back of this pocket with these photo mats. So this is on 28 pound paper. These are from the Photomat Essentials. And I think I'm just gonna use my tape runner tape. Sorry, I hope I'm not too far off camera. These albums are so big, they don't leave much room for, uh, any, uh, for my workspace for me to use my, whoops, kind of got off a little bit there. So this one is the 4x6, I'm going to try to center that from side to side. And then this one is the 3x4, this one here. So I think what I did was I printed, I think I've used just about everything I've printed. So if I printed a page of the 3x4 onto um, plain paper then I will be using all of them, if that makes sense. Whoops, I didn't uh, make sure it was even top to bottom, but that's okay. And then I thought I would just add something here, just because, just for decoration. I just thought that might be cute. And I'm literally just gonna put glue right in between the two photo mats so that a picture can still fit. Uh, on top and on bottom. So this, I believe, was a fussy cut piece. Oh no, this one was actually from the die cuts. I did kind of trim out a little bit more. So that looks like that. And then, oh, I don't know why I opened that. <laughs> That's going to be just the lone insert for right now. Oh, you know what I meant to do? I meant to stamp those. See, this is what happens when I try to plan too far ahead. I forget what I'm doing. All right, 
Let me see if I can stamp them. Oops, that's the five by seven. Let me see if I can stamp them while they're in the book here, hopefully. If not, it's okay. Oh, good enough. My stamp set was in stock last week. So, um, it sold out again. But, I have it linked down below. So, if you want to um, go put your name on the list to be notified when it is back in stock. Uh, they said they'll keep stocking it as long as you guys keep wanting it. So, yep. So if you're interested in checking out my stamp set, which I'll show you once again, what it looks like. Love it. If you're interested in checking it out, there's a link down below. Okay, so there's one page set up that I did. What's the next one? What's the next one? Oh, I know. I was gonna do the back. I've got the back. I took this insert out, which was the other shaker element. But back here, I'm gonna do, let me see what I got here. Okay, I think there's the shaker element right here. Aha, uh -huh. yes. Okay, I already put magnets on things and everything. Okay, I am on it. All right, so I think what I'm gonna do is I have printed this Shades of color, this is the green, and I'm just gonna mat the back with that, but I'm gonna put, I have magnets here. As you, oops, as you can see, I have magnets right there. So I think what I'm gonna do is, what I had planned anyway, is I'm gonna mat this, I've got the two magnets here on the back of this shaker photo mat that we made, instead of it being on that on the barn door double door thing um, I'm gonna have it magnetized here so that it can be taken off and sh you know you can shake it and it's not gonna fall anywhere so I am gonna glue this down just gonna use my fabric tuck. you'll see everything will be covered so for the mat for this cover I, I did trace it. I didn't print it. I could have printed it, but I didn't. No, I, actually, that's not true. I did print this. I did print the mat. <laughs> Jeez, I can't even. I'm telling you, it's been a week since I've prepped this stuff. Something has come up, and everything's fine, like I said. Everything will be fine. Um, I've lost my train of thought. Oh, you know what, before I stick that down, I better make sure that everything is where it's supposed to be. Okay. All right. I do feel bad. I am so sorry. I can't even, my train of thought, I can't even keep my train of thought. Oh, dear Lord. Okay, and then I have, I have another sheet of the 4x6 photo mats that I printed onto 28 pound paper. I'm going to stamp them this way with the 4x6. And then I have two 3x4s that I'm going to put on the back of the shaker. I don't even know what I was telling you about the shaker. But, um... And then I've got two three by fours. They're also going to be this way. Oops, I didn't even get a full stamp on that, but it's okay. I might even end up doing like a fast forward version and then do a flip through. <laughs> so I'm going to put these two on the back here to cover those magnets and then these two here to cover those magnets. So I am going to use a little bit of tape and I'm going to use some glue. I did mark the center of this 
so that I could put my magnets in line and then I just kind of eyeballed it to, to put them on the on the um, the mat what was I saying about the mat I don't remember I printed this mat out is this the mat for the cover for the a size album that I'm not sure if that's what I was saying but that's what I was meant to say I'm gonna put wet glue on these to mat it. And you may wanna take your time to get those stamped on there a little bit better than I did. Um, I obviously didn't get that one in the center, not even close to the center, but anyways, so you kind of get the idea of what, what we're doing there. So you can just do this or you can remove it to see the photos, right? I like this better because where it was, it was, let me show you where it was. Most of you already know where it was. It was here like that and that's fine, but that's what happened. So it kept flopping around. It was here originally and anyway, I like it by Cure the best. This, this is... This is where it's gonna live now, right? I think I like that better. All right, and this is a fitting place. That I didn't do this on purpose, but the next thing we're gonna do is the insert that's gonna hold these two little doors closed. And that is the same page, the 39B that we printed, that I showed you that I made this insert with. Uh, the same page, and let's get back to that page there. So I printed that. I've got everything ready to go here. I just, whoops, <laughs> I just printed it onto white cardstock. I inked it up, uh, scored it, and folded it, and this one is going to go this way. So I have traced the mat for it onto some coffee stained paper. So we're going to mat this really fast, and I'm going to use liquid glue for this. And I'm just going to go along the edges. I also traced a mat in the pattern paper for the back side. So I traced that and I have some photo mats and stuff. I love this. Um, I love this insert. I love the, um, the style of this insert. Anyway. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to stick this on here. So I'm matting because it's going to go this way, okay? Oops. My coffee stain paper is a little wrinkly, so it's not going to want to lay flat, and that's okay. I'm totally fine with it. Okay. So we got that marks here I was thinking about punching a hole I don't know we still may but I'm going to attach the back mat as well this one I can do a little bit more there and this does not have a direction so So we got that. I just, I do, I love this insert. You guys just wait and see. And then, this was uh, one of the scraps, excuse me, that I have in my tray. And I thought I would, I traced it out, I traced this mat out on this little scrap, and then I thought I would take a bigger butterfly and stick it right there and I think that would be so cute because it ended up you know it got this part cut off and the tip of the butterfly but I thought it might be cute to take one of these fussy cut butterflies that we have from another page and just attach it on there so it just I don't know I think it gives it a little something a little something something so I'm gonna attach this down so I just used my scraps 
and I thought that because this is where it got this is where it was cut off to begin with and I thought you know what I can still use that why not so this butterfly is falling apart so I'm gonna have to glue it <laughs> separately <laughs> that's okay let's start with one side it just literally ripped right apart and then let's do this other side it's okay it doesn't matter right just like that and then we'll come back and put something there but right now Hmm, what I think I want to do is, I think what I'm going to do with you guys, I am going to, I'm going to come up a little bit. Maybe three fourths of an inch from the bottom. And I'm going to come in about a half an inch from each side, mark it. And then I'm going to put a whole reinforcement. Well, that's not, I didn't do a very good job of half an inch, marking a half an inch, but that's okay. Okay. And I'm going to punch through that. Let me burnish that down just a little bit. And then I think what I'm going to do is do the back side really quick. I'm going to mat the back side before we go any further. I think I'm just going to put a 4x6 photo. This is photo mat from one of the other pages that we already used the other piece. At least I think. I'm going to put the 4x6 there. And I've got some embellishments, and I'm going to put this here. But this was from, these are both from the die cut, so I just fussy cut them a little bit more. And I think what I'm going to do is have a little cluster like this. The pumpkin's going to go behind the little tag there. And that's going to be there. Yeah, that looks good. So the next thing I want to do is I'm either going to use this cord, this cording, or I'm going to use the black and white or a combination of this and the black and white Baker's twine. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it, I'm going to go through one whole reinforcement this way, go around the back side. And come up through this whole reinforcement this way. To have something like this so that I can close this without gluing it. So it can be like a pocket. You know what I mean? But I can't decide. I feel like it needs the baker's twine as well. So let me try it with just the baker's twine first. Or those and one strip of baker's twine. How about that? All right, so we got one and one hole around and then open through this one 
Ayun. So do I have the bow or the tie on this side or this side? Hmm. -hmm. Since the butterfly's over here, let's do it on this side. Come on. This may not work. I have not done this. I've not tried this before, but I thought it would be cute. So let's see what happens. All right. So then my thought was to have three different sizes of photo mats, the five by seven. I don't have the photo corners on there. I've got the 4x6 and the 3x4. So I thought that would just be cute as like a loose, like you could, like a floating pocket. Do you know? And I haven't stamped anything, so let's do that really quick. Wow, throwing stuff. So let's do one on that side. And I just inked. Uh, the other side. I'm not going to mat it. I guess you could come back and mat it if you wanted to. If you have leftover pieces. Whoops. If you have leftover like scraps and stuff, you could mat one side. Yow, yow, yow. So yeah, this was my idea. This is what, I think this will work. Let's see if it'll work I wanted it to be a little tighter, but that's okay. Let's see if it'll work where I want it to work, though. That's the question. First of all, that looks cute, right? Okay. Okay. So I want it to go right there. Oh, it could even, too. We could put it on both. There we go. Ooh, I like that. Do you like that? All right, give me a thumbs up if you like that. I like that. I think that looks really cute. Okay, next. What do we got going on next? Let me look. Okay, next up is we're gonna do the front cover and I've got everything prepped and ready to go. This is the paper I chose. I printed the mat for the front cover onto this pretty patterned paper. And then these two, we're left over from, I think, one of these pockets here, and we're gonna make them into two little side pockets, just like that. So what I did was I cut one long tab off, it has the pumpkin background design, so I'm not sure which page it was on. I guess I could look really quick. Let's see here. It was page 13 AC. Yep, so it was the this pocket, this pocket right here, so this is the other part. This was the leftover parts, so, and that's in the foundations. So I took one long tab off of each one and scored everything and put tape on everything, and yeah. So we're gonna, again, we're gonna attach the long tab to the two short tabs. Just really quick while I've got them here. It's just easier to handle when it's one unit, when it's one unit, when it's one piece, <laughs> when it's put together like this. Okay, so I've got those. So then I also have a bunch of little embellishments and I have printed this page out of the essentials. I've printed these out onto cardstock and this is a three by four and I inked the back and stamped the back. So um, the other parts, I gotta make sure I keep these right since I've already stamped them. These were from the large cut, out, cut apart sheet, the one that had the four different big designs. I cut the ones, the little bit out. Let me see if I can show you. Oh. 
out of the paper collection. This page here. So I cut this piece and this piece out. I cut it to three by four. So those two pieces I trimmed away to fit onto these. So we're gonna, those are gonna be the inserts for our little pockets. So let's add this piece. I'm gonna use, since I've got it out here, I'm gonna use my fabric tack. And we're gonna stick this down to the front cover. I think the only other thing I got prepped, you guys, is the back cover. And that might be, that might be it. We'll see. Okay. And I don't know if it's going to, I don't know if I have to be super precise on where these pockets go. But I'm going to try to keep them even. Let's see. I wonder if that will help. Let's see if that'll do anything. I'm an inch from the top of the cover. I've got the one pocket and an inch from the bottom is what I'm going to do without having to get too precise. And then the width of the ruler um, away from the binding. Flip it this way before I press it down. Yeah, that doesn't look too bad. Okay, so then these two, I am going to attach these to the three before card. Whoops. And I did corner chomp using my photo corner chomper. Got everything correct facing the right way I thought about making it a pull but I'm not sure I'm gonna do that this time especially since I have no time I have no time <laughs> I'm running out of time like even right now while I'm recording I'm literally running out of time okay so it says hello autumn and then that one says fall and I guess I could eat that edge just a little bit. So one's going to go here, like, like that, right? And one's going to go here, like that. So then my embellishments is I've got two of these tags that I stamped and then cut out of, of my uh, coffee stain paper. And then I've got these two. The One was from the paper collection that I fussy cut out of the paper and then one was from the die cuts. So I just thought I would just do a little bit of a cluster. Maybe have this one up here. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Just a little bit of a cluster. Just something. You know? Just a little something. So if you wanted to, you could write stuff on here. Maybe I should have this one going this way. Just so it's different. You know what I mean? Kind of like that. What do we think? All right, so that looks pretty snazzy. All right, and then the back cover, what I've got prepared for that is this is leftover. I'm almost positive this was leftover from something. I just need to figure out what it was leftover from. What's going on here? Oh. It's, it won't go any further, Jennifer, because the pockets, that's the, as deep as the pocket is. <laughs> Where is this left over? This is a leftover piece from something. I don't remember what. Or did I print a whole new one? I thought it was left over. Yeah, it was left over from the front cover. This piece. So that's this is the other <laughs> part of this piece from the front cover. Okay. So we're going to use this as a pocket back here. 23A. Oh, I haven't put any... I haven't put anything on here. And it doesn't matter that it's got the pumpkin. We're going to mat it anyway, the pumpkin background on it. We're going to mat it and give it a little color back on the back cover. I can't find my, my right angle tool. 
I've set it down somewhere. Okay. So I'm going to do the same thing with this corner so that I can attach the short tabs to the long tab. And I'm going to cut some of this excess cardstock off right there. Biting. I didn't mean to. I had a hangnail and I was nervous one day about something and I was chewing on it and now it's like driving me insane. It hurts so bad. Okay. So this piece is going to go back here and we're going to mat it. This is the page that I picked to mat it. So I traced the mat for this page. This page is 23A, so the mat for page 23A. Traced it on here, and let's mat it. Let's go ahead and mat it before I put it onto the, to the book. Well, it comes together really quick when everything's prepped and ready, huh? <laughs> Stick this on here on the back. Oops, I'm gonna try to anyway. There we go. Right, easy enough. And then I printed this page. What is this page? This is one of the inserts for the side pocket inserts, and it is on page, is it this one? 28A, so I printed page 28A from the Graceful Decorative Edge. I printed that onto white cardstock with the pumpkin background design, and then I printed the shades of color number, ah, get ready to have an avalanche here, number 17 from the shades of color two. I love that. I love that color. And that's going to go here. Simple. Inked everything. Inked all the edges up. And then this was from that same piece of uh, patterned paper, except um, I cut it down so that it would be, what size is this? Oh, I didn't cut it down to a specific size. I just cut it to frame this image here. Basically is all I did. And then I put a whole reinforcement there, and I'm going to add, or some of that I just cut off. I'm gonna add a pull. I guess I could do both. Onto this one. You could put a pull on this one as well if you wanted to. And I can go there and again you can add as many inserts back here as you want so that's cute I do have one more thing prepped I do and that is the spine piece okay so let me open this up a little bit here so that you can see the overall the whole cover so these are the same paper so I thought that the spine piece needed to be the same paper as well so I just traced the mat for the spine onto this. I think it was, was it this piece? It might have been this exact piece. No, I don't think it was. It might have been on this side. But either way, it's the same paper. So we've got it on the front, we've got it on the back, and we've got it on the spine. And then I used, I uh, stamped onto some coffee stain paper and then fussy cut out this little label stamp from my stamp set. And then I put the butterfly there and I put some little crystals on its little body. And then I've got three little dew drops up here and three little dew drops right there. Can you see them? Let me see if I can get it to 
can you see that? And it's these, the ones that are crystal clear, the shaker mix. So I use those and that's it. That's all, I'm, that's all I did. I inked it up and I'm just gonna attach it down. So that is all I have prepped. <laughs> so we've got this front cover, which is cool, interactive. Back cover, interactive. You can put as many inserts as you want. Did the spine. Let me show you what's left from all of that that I just showed you in this video. I've got a few photo mats left. Three by four, there might even be another one somewhere, maybe a five by seven. So I've got a few photo mats. I've got this piece left. I don't know why that's there. A big old piece of coffee stained paper. I've got this left. These can be cut up and made as inserts. Some faux photo corners. And here's another one of that, that uh, piece that I used the pocket on the one page. It's 10D, so I didn't use that one yet. And then I have 2060 because I used the, the other part of here. Uh, this part was the belly band. So I've got this left. But, and I also got this from the binding. But I think, let me show you. The last thing we're going to do, I think, so I'm going to take this piece of the binding and I'm going to cut these off to mat, uh oh, to mat the fins that are not uh, pattern, where it's just plain white. So let me get this on here really quick since my candle came off. So I'm going to trim, I'm going to trim one two, three, four. I'm going to trim four of these out and get them ready to, um, to mat the, the fins. All right, I have the four strips here and they don't even have to be any specific. Um, I love that. I love that butterfly. They don't have to be any specific order. It doesn't matter. Just as long as they're upright, if you can even tell. I'm not, I didn't even ink them. But what, we're just going to cover that fin. And it looks like it's all one piece. So, I'm going to grab, actually, I'm going to do the art glitter glue because um, I can get a thinner line. My fabric tack is kind of thick right now. I know everybody, I know what you're saying. You can dilute it with acetone. I know that. You don't want to use fingernail polish remover. I'm going to use pure acetone, which you can find pure acetone, especially if you have access to beauty supply. Like you can go to like a Sally's or something and get some pure acetone. You do not want fingernail polish remover though. Okay, there's one. And then two more. I hope I put that on right. I didn't even look, you guys, to see if it was upright. It just didn't stick out as being upside down, so I guess it's okay. <laughs> All right, and then we'll do this one. Like you don't even notice there was a white fin there at all. And then this one. So, hopefully you guys will not see any sort of lag in the videos. Hopefully everything will go along smoothly because of my little hiccup that I got here. So hopefully you won't miss a beat. So. After this video, there we should maybe have a maybe a, a day or not a day, maybe a week. Maybe we'll take a week off before we start the next project. Uh, but if you want to know what we're using in the next project, I'm pretty sure I showed in video, and I will link that video up here. But that's going to be a Christmas album. Okay, you guys, I think that's all I'm going to do. Um, I loved this album. I love this album. I may come back and add some details here and there. 
I don't know. You never know. And if I do do that, if I do do, <laughs> then I will do a quick flip through video for you guys. But I think I'm just going to leave it like it is for now. Um, I do apologize for this, the sudden, you know, uh, the sudden quickness of the end of this album, but I love the way this turned out. I think it looks fantastic. I love the interactive elements. I love the short pages. I love the fun use uh, to make pockets, like to make, oh, whoops, that one stuck. <laughs> I love this idea of having loose photo mats in here like that. It just, I love this idea. All right, you guys. All right. All right. So do let me know what you think down in the comments. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this album. And be sure that you subscribe to my channel. You know what I could do? I have these. I could put these here. That's a possibility. So if, if I do end up doing more, you guys, I'll do a quick flip. But And if I end up doing more and I do it a quick flip, then this won't be the last, this won't be the last video. <laughs> All right, be sure that you're subscribed to my channel if you haven't already. Make sure you turn that bell notification on so that you get notified when I upload a video. And I look forward to starting the next album with you guys, the Christmas album. That one's going to be fun. I had a lot of fun. I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for joining me. I do apologize for the abruptness of this ending like this, this being the last video. I will see you guys next time. Bye.